Hey, Shopify merchants. You may want to create multiple product groups in your store at the same time. But what if you haven't named your products in a unified format and given tags for them? Manual fixing for automation grouping sounds so exhausting. That's when you need the import function. On Shopify admin, open products. We take these products for example. Erst, on G, combine listings apps left tab menu, click product groups. You will see the option import on the top right. A brief guide menu will show up and let you know how to import product groups. You may wonder how to create a CSV file for your store. So here's the guide. Download the sample CSV file and the CSV guide file. Then, prepare your CSV file. Open the two files you just downloaded. The sheet group structure is a sample of multiple options group. The right order of all rows is group info, option info, option value info, and product info. Move to the fields explanation sheet to know how to fill in the right cells. Look at the field type first, all required fields must be valid to be imported. The optional ones can be adjusted after import. Let's get to step one, group. The group ID is for differentiating groups. You can set the group ID to your liking. What happens if I set the same group ID on different files? It's totally fine, as long as each group ID is unique across groups on one file. But be careful that when you edit the info and import it again, the app uses that group ID to decide whether to update the existing group or add a new one. If you accidentally create a new group ID for the same group of products, the app will flag an error. Since those products are already in an existing group, remember to name each group, this will appear in the admin dashboard for management. Next, step 2, option. Type in the group that the options belong to, as you can see in the sample CSV file. Similarly to group, the option ID must be unique. If you import multiple groups, you should denote the option ID as group ID underscore option ID, like G1 underscore O1. Next, fill an option name, this will appear in the widget of the storefront. The option style on page defines how the option set is presented on the product page. You can choose one among 10 styles, button, pill button, drop down, circle swatch. This is how it appears in the storefront. The option style on card defines how the option set is presented on the product card. This is how it appears in the storefront. Now come to step 3, option value info. First, type in the group and the option that the option value belongs to. If your option is color, the value name may be red, green, blue. Value name will appear in the storefront. So what differentiate among values? It's value ID, each of these fields has to be unique. You can set value ID to your liking, as long as there's no duplicate value ID in the same file. Swatch style defines how the swatch appears on the storefront. There are four styles available, one color, two colors, first image, custom image. If you want the swatch option to display color only, opt for one color or two colors. The option first image will display the first image of the product image collections as swatch. Next, type in the color hex code in the option swatch color one. If your swatch option is two colors, also fill the field swatch color two. For the custom image option, type in a valid image URL in the field swatch image. Then, step four, product info. First, fill in the group IDs that the products belong to. Next, type in the product ID for each product. It is the number after slash product slash on the product URL address. Combination ID indicates what option values are available for each product. If a product like a shirt has only one option, such as color, and the value is red, the combination ID will be the ID of the red color, e.g., G1 underscore V1. It is denoted as group ID 1 underscore value ID 1 forward slash group ID 2 underscore value ID 2 forward slash group ID N underscore value ID N. Complete similarly for single option group. Now back to G. Combine listings, upload your newly created CSV file.
you will see a small pop-up indicating your import status. Here, you can also make changes to any successfully imported groups. Publish the groups to go live on your store. With a neat and smart visual display, your product pages look more interactive now. All groups, options, option values are now displayed to your configurations. Now you know how to import product groups in G, combined listings. Thanks for watching.